Yvonne here at My Paint and Pastels. We're going to be playing with pastels today. It will be a pretty even mix between Conti Paris, Terry Ludwig, Mount Vision, and Senlier. I'm going to do another piece in my style today, which leans heavily towards the surreal, although I do traditional pieces on this channel as well. After a number of sketches, I developed this one into a rough draft, and this is what we're going to use for our painting today. I've taken a piece of Arches cold press paper. I think it's 150 pounds. If it's not, I'll leave a comment below. And we're going to take the same approach we did with the brunt painting. We're going to do our drawing first, and then we're going to apply a coat of Liquitex clear gesso to give us the tooth we need for the pastels. I've used a light color pastel in the drawing because if you use a dark color or graphite, you're going to see it through the mediums, whether it's watercolor, pastel, or whatever. So we've completed all of our preliminary steps for the painting. We have our drawing done. We have our thumbnails completed. And also we have our palette selected. So here, let me show you the colors. Here are our colors for the main body of the painting outside of the barrier. Here is our color palette for the barrier itself. And these are the muted, obscure colors that we're going to see through the barrier. So then we have a basic three set of colors that are going to interact and play with each other to create the feel of the painting. This section over to the right are my neutrals. And in any painting, I use the neutrals to balance out tone or hue and give a balance or for shadows. It helps me to have all my neutrals separate from the rest of my palette. We have laid in our beautiful, vibrant colors for outside the barrier, and when those colors hit the barrier, they become fractured and almost sickly. And by laying them in now, we have created the negative space to lay in the barrier.
Thanks for joining us here at White Paint Pastels. Please subscribe, ring the bell, and we'll see you right back here on the first Friday of every month. Check out my website and use the links below to buy any art supplies you might need. Most importantly, get out there and keep doing art because life's a medium.